In last week's video, we discussed how when things happen that upset us, we may find it hard to concentrate or perform well, and we can make bad decisions. We provided some specific suggestions for sufferers of anxiety and ADHD to assist with these challenges. If you are a subscriber to our YouTube channel, you will notice that many of our videos and content are interconnected. This is done to provide help in the most useful way. If you haven't done so, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, today we want to build on the information and suggestions in last week's video. We'll discuss why it's important for the anxiety and ADHD sufferer to separate inspiration from impulsivity and provide concrete suggestions that you can carry out to be sure that you fully engage in life. Let's say you get an idea that you want to do something and you might think that you've got to act quickly. The challenge is, like many of us, sometimes you have good ideas and sometimes you don't. For example, you get the idea to go on a vacation. This sounds very relaxing. You might think of all the compelling reasons why you should take a vacation now because you really want to go. However, you might think of only the good reasons why you should take a vacation, but what about the cons? Or let's say you have an idea about your business. This pattern could apply to anything really. However, if you don't think more about the various implications of your decisions, this could create more hardship down the road. Impulsivity is something that affects ADHD sufferers but it can also affect anxiety sufferers. Here's how. Anxiety sufferers may become tired of being anxious and fearful about doing something, so they might decide that they just want to jump right in, thinking it will reduce their anxiety to commit to action. But if they aren't being practical and they just commit to jumping in, this could be counterproductive. While it's good not to hesitate unnecessarily, it's also good to be realistic when making decisions. So, here are some practical steps you can take. Whenever you get an idea, don't dismiss it. Write it down or otherwise capture it. List the pros and the cons of the idea. Optionally, you might consider asking a good friend or someone you trust for their opinion. This is not mandatory, but it could be helpful to get another perspective from someone who is not emotionally attached to the outcome. If you feel stuck on what to do, consider doing something different, even if it's just for a few moments. For example, some people might like to sort of meditate just for a few moments, or take a quick walk, do some breathing exercises, anything that involves doing something else other than just concentrating on the idea. After you've done something different, return to thinking about your idea more fully. Reward yourself with something you like to reinforce this behavior. These suggestions allow you to slow down before you jump into things and help to ensure you actively and more clearly consider whether you're feeling just an impulse or more of an inspiration that can serve you well. These steps can help you to be more realistic and practical. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and look forward to presenting another one next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. PanicAttackRecovery.com